So we've got a stock photography today I'm going to upscale in Topaz Gigapixel version 8 and this was from Pexels.com and we can see it's quite small, it's 640 by 960 and we're going to go up to the upscale menu in the top right here and start off as we mean to go on. So I'm going to choose for this one, I'm going to choose a four times upscale because I probably want to crop after the fact and I'm going to need that extra sort of real estate to be able to make more of a creative crop. So at the moment, it's it's defaulting to um, high fidelity um, upscale model, but I wanna I don't want to assume that, especially with this type of image. So I'm going to click on compare. This A B comparison, I love this. I hardly ever use the um, lightning bolt, which is auto suggests what um, the software believes is right. I always like to double check myself. So I for something like this, I'll check standard, high fidelity, and the low res because it is such a it is such a small file, so it's always worth throwing that into the mix on images like this. Click compare, and we get our three image comparison on this on this particular occasion. So we've got standard V2 in the top left, high fidelity V2 on the bottom left, and low resolution model on the right hand side. So again, I'm just looking at the main the main details. With anything with the face, you want to start looking at the face, the details, the eyes, in this case the beak. Make sure there's no harsh edges appearing and basically just pick the one that initially you just get the best feeling from in terms of how you like the image to look. Some might be sharper, some might be a little more processed looking, but it is um, a lot of this is subjective. So with the um, one thing to mention with the low resolution model, which is on the right, is that it has quite a bit of fixed compression already baked into the model. So um, if you've got notable image compression on your file, then this might be more than enough to take care of that without even having to tweak the sliders here. So this has just got some sharpening applied from when I last used the software, and it's probably applicable here. I think in this occasion, I'm going to go for the low resolution model. So I'll just make sure I'm clicked on that and click apply model, and that'll just update the preview accordingly. Now at any point, if I wanted to do a side by side before and after, I can just go to one of these icons down here and do this and then I can have a real time side by side with the before and the after, after being the upscaled and processed version. But I like going to the full screen preview. If you hold down your left mouse button at any point, it will show you the before image so you can always check to see where you were and where you are now. So now I'm happy with that, I'm going to skip the generative model section because it's not relevant here. Model settings, I put 20 sharpening in from the previous image I worked on. Um, it seems to be working quite well here, so I've got no reason to no reason to um, change that. I'm looking at the feathers around the neck here, and they look suitably sharp, but not over sharpened. Perhaps it can take a touch more. Maybe I'll tweak it up to thirty. Quite subtle sharpening on this though, so you you know a little does go a long way still, but it's a lot more subtle than if you're using Photo AI, for example. Denoise. I don't really see any noise on the original. Hold down the left mouse button. But what I am seeing is some fixed, is some compression artifacts which have already been fixed. So if you look along the top of the swan's head, and this is a good example, so I'm going to actually magnify and zoom in. If we go around the head and I hold down the left mouse button for the before, so we're looking at the original image here untouched, you can hopefully see around the top of its head and around its beak, all around the edges, there's some compression artifacts. And as soon as I let go and it updates the preview, they're gone. And notice I haven't touched the fixed compression slider at all, and that's just because we've used this low res model, which has some compression um, fighting abilities already built in, which is nice, so we don't have to do any extra work here. So I've put the magnification back to 100%. Have a look round, and just make sure we're happy with the overall with the overall um, image so far. Scan down and see if there's anything else we need. Face recovery is not applicable to this. Gamma correction is not applicable to this. And so there we have our excellent upscale, starting from a tiny file of 640 by 960 and ending up with something that is nearly 4,000 pixels on its longest edge, and all while retaining and actually improving the quality.